Hi guys, this is part 2 of uh, this tutorial. In the part 1 we've made the body, we've made the head, and in this part 2 I will show you how to create muzzle, how to create ears, horns and uh, face. So in this part we will finish this and create this beautiful, adorable cow. I called it Daisy the cow. Uh, you can call it different way. You can tell me your names. I would love to hear that. And so first we will make muzzle, then ears, tails and stitch it together. So let's start making pink muzzle. So Start with the chain slip knot. And make chain 10. Then in the second chain stitch from the hook make two single crochets. I put stitch marker in the first chain in the first single crochet just to identify the beginning of the round. Second single crochet into the same stitch. Good. And then seven single crochets along the chain. One, two, and three. Four, five. Seven, and you should have one last stitch left. Make three single crochets. Third one into this last stitch. And then we will crochet along the other side of the chain, make seven single crochets. I know it is very hard to see, but you will feel it. So it's more like a uh, tactile, how do you say it? Sen sensory, <laughs> sensory, <laughs> sensory crochet. So I think it's uh, three. Four, five, six, and seven. And then you should have one last stitch left where you already placed two single crochets, so you are making one at the end. And this will be the end of the round. Then take the stitch marker, but uh, remember where is your first stitch. You are making one single crochet in this stitch and put the stitch marker. This is your first stitch. In the next stitch I will make two single crochets. So it is increase. Then seven single crochet, one in each stitch. Four, 
four. Five. Six. And seven. Then two single crochets. Second right into the same spot. They will be on the corners of your oval. You remember you did three single crochets in one stitch. So you've made two. Next stitch one. And next corner of the oval you will make two single crochets in one stitch. In this one, two single crochets. Right into the same stitch, second. And now seven single crochets on the other side. One single crochet in each stitch. Six and seven, and you have one last stitch left before stitch marker. Make two single crochets. And this is the end of the round. You would have nicely shaped oval. Remove your stitch marker. One single crochet. And for this round it will be one single crochet in each stitch. All the way around. So you can pause video and finish this round. I will go slightly faster. And this is the end of the round. You have lovely looking oval. This will be the muzzle. Let's make one more round. And it will be the same one single crochet in each stitch. To finish this round, you can place slip stitch into the next stitch and it will minimize the step and maybe once more. 
So by making slip stitch you will take this step, step off and finish the round. Leave the tail, you will need it to stitch it to the face, to the body, to the head. The end is on the top and uh, this looks like um, uh, this um, I like this uh, like this more because this looks like a short uh, rose I don't know why this looks like a, a smaller part on top by the eyes and little bit longer um, muzzle on uh, the by the neck so my tail, you, you can see my tail is uh, by the eye. First I use uh, pins just to attach. If you are not interested in this part, you can move along. If you are, I know some people asked me how do you attach this together. For lots of people this is uh, the hardest part. That's why I stop a little bit long on this, well not longer but I show you how to do it. You can wash this or you not, it is your choice. All the tails I just hide inside and I will put little bit more stuffing later on, maybe at the end of my stitching. This is the face so put enough attention into this part. This is what makes the toy either cute or ugly and I find this part is the most challenging to create the face because really you can uh, crochet the same pattern, the same toy but sometimes it's cute. So first you position it carefully and after you are happy you can start stitching it in. And this is how I do it. Take the stitch of the head and then the stitch of the muzzle. Then again from the head and the stitch from the muzzle. You will do exactly the same job to attaching anything else, attaching the head, attaching the legs, arms, whatever you are doing, any toy, amigurumi toy, this is basically the same technique we are using. You can even attach it very nicely round by round, you can see it clearly. And it will make a very nice neat job. You can write down in a comment either you like this cow how I've done this or you prefer to have a different format video, maybe slightly faster. You can let me know. Any feedback is highly appreciated. And thank you very much Ariel for this inspiring picture she sent to my email address asking me to make this cow that gave me an idea don't forget to insert little bit of stuffing if you want to I've got little uh, opening left
the stuffing you can buy in Hobbycraft or in any craft shop. You can check it on Amazon. I think they've got lots of stuffing. Or use your old pillows, that's what I used to do. You don't need much, just a bit. I won't create nost nostrils. This is just in the middle of the muzzle, somewhere there where it's supposed to be. It's not really uh, seen very much, but um, you may try. You can push it down, trying to shape it right where this uh, chain, initial chain was. And you can see this shapes uh, this muzzle very well. I didn't really plan to do this, but it looks uh, very nice. Very often you start making the toy and then you come along with uh, some, some new ideas. Don't squash it very much, I mean muzzle, don't squash it very much, making a flat like a duck, duckling got. So it's a uh, still round shape, round oval. I'm making a few stitches around that one stitch, uh, like uh, creating a nostrils. And on the other side, Preferably to do a symmetrical. This is all optional. Maybe you will uh, start doing this and uh, your cow will look completely different. I wouldn't say it looks bad or, or it looks good, but it will be different and I'm sure it will be good. I mean, even if you do the same pattern, every toy will look different. So be creative. You can always um, cut the yarn and uh, pull it out and do all these uh, stitches you made if you don't like it and maybe do it again. I quite like how it's shaped. Putting a few stitches uh, below the eyes, it just uh, make it slightly more rounded. You see, like that. And uh, it can create the area for to make a bottom lip. And I think it looks great. And to make bottom lip, you make amigurumi circle as usual. And five or six single crochets. If you are serious about making toys, making amigurumis, you practice amigurumi circle and it really will uh, be a big benefit for you. You can see lots of people use amigurumi circle, amigurumi ring. You can start with chain two, of course, but with uh, amigurumi circle it will give you much neater finish. And this looks great. That's all it's basically need, right? Now let's attach it.
you can make chain one and this pre will prevent this last stitch from being undone you see with chain one then you will pull it and it will stay on and to attach the bottom lip you just um, hold it or maybe using a pin needles first I stitch in the center and then on the sides Take your time. It is a little bit uh, tricky, fiddly, I would say. Those ends we will put away afterwards. If you haven't watched my first part where we make head and the body, I will leave the, uh, the uh, link. I will leave the link in the description below under this video. Don't forget to check my other videos. I've got uh, lots of videos among cars. I've got lots of keychains, key rings, lovely little cute things you can make and I've got lots of plushy toys like snail, snake, even reversible octopus. Everyone loves it. So check it out. And I've got another cow. I've got strawberry cow, two-legged one. So it's like a uh, humanized. Say. And that humanized cow I think also was uh, someone's request. I don't know why but uh, people love cows. Why do you love cows? Guys, tell me why do you like do you love cows? I thought everyone loves frogs now. No, lots of people still love cows. And this tail was not long enough, so um you get another tail and stitch maybe the other end. This is my first toy with the bottom lip. I like how it goes. I think I can make something else with um, very similar pattern, very similar ideas. So you take time and you just uh, be creative. Let your creativity grow. Then you hide all, all those tails and then we will make ears, horns and we will make a few spots for the cow if you want and this already looks very cute. Very nice. Uh, let's um, make eyelashes with black yarn as well and it will add the cuteness.
for eyelashes I'm using this um, black yarn it is like um, 4 PLY double K um, DK double knitting or maybe 3 PLY not thick one because you need kind of um, you need it uh, um, eyelashes are not thick right so have a look what you've got in your stash I'm sure everyone's got a little bit of black yarn left if you've got chunky you can always uh, separate this into two strands I try not to buy yarn for separate toys I'm trying to use what I've got and this is just uh, you go along trying to create eyelashes whatever you want be creative this is what I do I'm not sure either three or four it needed. Maybe let's try to make the fourth one. Yeah. Be gentle, try not to pull very hard. And then try to do exactly the same on the other eye. You can decorate your cow making maybe a bow, making a flower on the back, on the head, or making a little, uh, giving it a little color. Lots of options. But this is just the basic toy, the basic pattern, and you can make lots of things with it. Sometimes the harder thing is to make this symmetrical. Especially when the stitches are large. You, s you know what I mean with the chunky yarn. You've got large stitches. But I didn't tell you that it is a very easy project. I told you from the beginning that it is quite challenging, especially the face making features. So there you are. You can use um, shop bought eyelashes. I know some people uh, find it somewhere. I haven't seen shop bought eyelashes. Um, you can. Uh, you can tell me where you can find it if you can. I don't have shop boards, that's why I'm just creating this embroidery. The trick it you get into the same spot. You are going through all this stuffing, that's why it is quite tricky to pull it out. Yep. And then you lost it. Never mind. You just start it again.
and once you get into the same spot you can tie the knot and hide the ends. Check eyelashes again that it's not pulled very hard. And this is the head. Then you will need to make horns and ears. And it will be great. Looks lovely. And very cute. Trying to stitch it on the body. I want it to be kind of sideways. Like a will be a little bit better. You can place your head straight. It will be your own features. I try to make it sideways that it uh, goes like a um, nodding cut at you. So first using the pin needles. Maybe better to use um, uh, you know knitting needles because they are very long and um, sturdy. You see what I mean with these uh, little pins. This is rather large toy, so you need to position it. So let's start again. You position it some on some s on a side. Make sure you don't leave the pin safety pins in your toys. It's very easy to lose them in this plush yarn. This could be very dangerous if you give it to someone with the pins still inside. As I said, if you've got knitting needles, I'm just uh, thinking that maybe it would uh, hold the head very nicely. Or maybe count how many needles have you inserted that you need to take out exactly the same number. And when you are happy with the position, you can stitch it in. I need to readjust my camera slightly to put it a little bit higher that you can see it better. This is how I position the head. You can position it differently. And then try to stitch it in, attaching. I will show you how I touch the head to the body. You pick the stitch from the head 
and then pick the stitch from the body. This is how I do it. And going around, careful with your pin needles. You can go around quickly just for the very rough stitching and then going again maybe to correct the position of the head. And then you go again and again, all around, till you've got very strong fixing. I will show you how to make ears. Start with magic loop or magic circle. Just like that. And make six single crochets. Second round I will make some increases. First you make your first stitch and place stitch marker. Next stitch you will make two single crochets. And next stitch it will be one single crochet. Next stitch two single crochet and then one. So going around this is one and the last stitch will be two single crochets. So you should have nine stitches at the end of second round. Then I will be making th three rounds with nine single crochet, one stitch, one single crochet in each stitch. It will be for round three, four and five. And you will need to make two ears. First I'm crocheting it inwards, you see and my right side is inside. Then I will just turn it inside out. 
This is more convenient for me to do, but don't forget to turn it inside out, like that. And this will be the right side. If you compare it, you will see the difference. So make a couple more rounds, two more rounds, with nine single crochets. And once more. I will not put any stuffing in ears. Just the tail, it will be my stuffing. I may not show you how to attach ears, it basically will be the same. You position it on the head and then going round picking the stitch from the ear, the stitch from the head. Finish this with slip stitch and chain one. Make the second ear and position it both at once. Try it with safety pins. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love it. Looks so good. It should be a uh, kind of on the side of the head. I didn't count the rounds, but uh, you uh, you position it here, there, high, low, and you will you will find the position how it looks good. And then I will show you how to make horns, how to make the tail. It is a little bit more to crochet. And it will be ready very soon. Looks adorable. Let's make horns. I'm using double yarn, making magic loop, and then six single crochets. Second round it will be again six single crochets. Black is not very camera friendly, yeah, and I'm very sorry. But you just go slowly, six single crochets, one in each stitch. It is a very small part. 
I don't think I will uh, make it in different color. I want to finish this cow. I'm a little bit tired. Third round you will make increase. It will be one single crochet and then two single crochet. Turn it inside out. This is the right side. Don't forget about it. You can put stitch marker. I will just count nine stitches. It will be one single crochet in one stitch, then two single crochet in one stitch in the next stitch. And so there you are one stitch and then two stitches. And with this pattern going around one single crochet, two single crochets, you may have nine stitches at the end of the third round. Very similar how I did increase for the ears. So it goes one, two, one, two, one, two, nine stitches, and uh, the last fourth round, round four, it will be nine stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch. This is crochet hook four millimeters, suitable for double knitting yarn, medium thickness or four PLY, just any thinner yarn will work for the horns. Finish it with slip stitch and chain one. I left the tail to stitch the other tail. I insert inside and it will be the stuffing. I didn't insert any stuffings in the horns as well. These are tiny horns. If you want you can make it larger. Maybe place another round of increase. And then keep crocheting with the same um, amount of single crochets. Just slightly more increase and longer if you want. So these are horns and uh, I've made spots and I will show you this is just um, two rounds of single crochets. Start again with magic loop or magic circle or any way you prefer to start your amigurumi pieces. Six single crochets. And second round, it will be two single crochets in each stitch. So my spots will be just two rounds of uh, single crochets. If you want spots larger, make a third round. It will be increases. It will be one single crochet and then two single crochets. In my view, two rounds is a uh, big enough spots. I've made three. Again, it is optional. Maybe you want to make pink spots or blue spots. I would love to see how your cow turns out. Hope it's lovely. 
and hope you will tag me on Instagram or Facebook for me to see your cow. I really would love to see it. Finish with slip stitch, chain 1 and leave the tail if you want to use it to stitch this to the body. First you position it uh, and uh, attaching it with pin needles and then you're going round and round and I will show you how I'm making the tail. I've decided to make it with eye cord. No, no, not with eye cord, with uh, just double knits. Yeah, I, I wanted to do it with eye cords, but just very simple uh, slip knot. You can make eye cord, you can make uh, just a braid, whatever is easier. I think this is easy peasy but I was using double. I doubled the yarn just to make it uh, slightly thicker. And I'm back to my five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Three and four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And check it out how it should be, uh, what the length it should be because uh, you will need to make the tassel and it shouldn't be below the uh, floor level or yeah table level so I'm leaving some ends and I will try to make the tassel this is very quick very easy you can make it any other way so this is how I do it I didn't expect to do that I'm not sure how to do it but this is just what comes to me and that's how it goes. Right, you just hold it on a few fingers and going round and round and round for as much yarn as you've got left. And then with the ends of tails you just uh, tie it up. You can make the tassel separately and then attach it. But it is getting late and I'm tired so it is just a uh, very quickie all right and with the other side just attaching this again trying to secure this somehow that it holds and then maybe taking it round and round to secure this even better double knot and then using the scissors I will just uh, shape it, cut it and voila you've got very nice tail it turns out to be slightly longer than I anticipated so the uh, the tail will go inside and it is even better because it will hold better than um, you know if you make it too short so you will just push the end inside and I will show you how I touched the tail If you don't have uh, the tail, um, the yarn left on the tail or on the body, you just get the different string of uh, yarn and going around with this. First, I touch this slightly, and then I'm pushing the end of the tail inside the body, and it will hold the tail better. I know children will pull it. So it will be just just how it should be. It just the lens how long you want the tail to be, and then stitch it again a little bit um, better.
Hope I've made this tutorial very clear and uh, full enough for you to follow me. I've tried my best. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. Sometimes the toy just um, does not come out as you want it. But this tutorial, this cow, it really, it was an easy tutorial for me. It was very easy pattern to create. So I hope you will enjoy it and you will enjoy making it. You just position it, you attach this and uh, then you will attach horns and ears all together to finish your lovely cow. And so guys, I'm very happy that you're trying to make my tutorial, this cow. Hope you enjoyed this and I will enjoy seeing your, your cows. The more the better. And bye for now. I'm saying goodbye. You can give me some ideas write in comments maybe you want me to make some more animals or maybe we should get ready for christmas i've got plant already a uh, couple of snowflakes and a christmas tree it is uh, november now and uh, christmas will be coming very soon so tell me guys what would you like to do next and there you are. I will not show you how to attach spots. You can do it. Love you. Bye.